Hey guys, okay, so you get to see me real. I am in the middle of cooking and cleaning and all sorts of fun kitchen stuff. But I wanted to share with you, because as I was rinsing off my um, uh, parsley, all right, parsley, for my dinner and the salad and stuff like that, um, I was thinking about what I use. So I'm gonna switch around to show you a couple of things and I'm also gonna show you my awesome mock sangria uh, cocktail that I do to just kind of, you know, have that summery sensation without all of the alcohol and all that stuff. Not that I don't love a glass of wine from time to time, but you know, and when I'm not wanting to partake, I want to, you know, still have a little bit of fun and be festive. So anyways, I'm going to switch around the camera so I can show you a cool hack, which is the sprays that I use to wipe off my counter. All right. If I've created them for my counter with lemon and vinegar, they're still really great to wash off my vegetables with. Right. So here's some really cool, funish, fun, fun-ish hacks. All right, so here I am. I've cut up some veggies. I've cut up my um, parsley. But before I cut it up, I rinsed it in my sink, right? And what I did was I sprayed it with my lemon and vinegar, um, which my lemon and vinegar I can also use for my windows, my mirrors, my cutting boards. It's my light disinfectant, right? But it's also great for rinsing off my veggies, all right? I'm gonna move on over here. Um, if I have a really porous kind of vegetable, um, this is also a really good one to be able to use for the leaves, uh, for um, lettuces, salads, you know, kind of stuff to be able to rinse off. Um, because again, you know that it's going to make sure that it's um, it's disinfecting the, um, or it's, you know, um, if there's any, any kind of gunk that might have gotten stuck on your vegetables and all that stuff. And then I just rinse it off and everything. But I, I like the taste of both oregano and On Guard. So, and since it's only, you know, a few drops in the great big huge bottle, but it's kind of cool. And like, this is my uh, wild orange and On Guard um, that I use for dusting and wood polishing. So there's no reason why I couldn't say, spray this on apples that are sliced so that they don't, um, turn brown, right? Or I could spray the lemon and vinegar on apples so that they don't turn brown. This one is my bug repellent to keep bugs out of my kitchen. It's the peppermint, lemongrass, and cedar wood. But again, you know, if I wanted to be able to, lemongrass is very cleansing. It, it is consumable. I mean, they're all consumable. So, um, there's no reason why I couldn't use that to spray on some of, say, the herbs if I wanted kind of a pepperminty, lemongrass kind of taste. But, you know, remember that you don't have to have, you know, totally separate things for, you know, say one just for cleaning because that's the great thing about our oils is they have multiple purposes and uses, right? We can clean with the lemon, we can disinfect with the lemon, but we can also um, freshen our vegetables, rinse them off, make sure that they are good and ready. Um, and mostly I do it this way just because I like to do things right away in my sink. I spray, it's easy, it's quick, um, and it's just something easy and quick for me to do. All right, so my sangria. I gotta share with you guys this. Oh, this is so wonderful. So what I do is I have the plain calm, okay? And I don't know about you guys, well first I'll tell you what all is in this and then I'll switch around and I'll tell you about um, sangrias. So here I have a scoop of the plain calm with a ginger ale zevia, all right? I put probably about two ounces of the cherry tart, uh, just tart cherry, and then a drop of lime, a drop of lemon, and a drop of wild orange. And you can see I've got my mock sangria right there. All right, so when I used to make big pitchers of sangria for gatherings and all that stuff, I'll show you my pitcher. So I'd have a pitcher like this, right? And it would be, you know, say a half of a bottle of wine with, um, well, I'd, I'd start out with half a bottle of wine um, just to not fill it all the way up. And I would squeeze two full um, oranges, two full limes, two full lemons, um, 
and then I would finish off the rest of the bottle of the wine in it. I'd let it sit in the refrigerator, let all of that stuff just really soak in really good. Um, and uh, and then, you know, when I'd go to actually serve it, I would either, some people liked the sangria just like that, some would like it with um, a little bit of Sprite, um, something, you know, sweet to make it a little bit sweet. Um, a friend of ours had actually taught us how to be able to add even a little bit more of a, a liquor, or a, um, I can't remember exactly, um, which alcohol it was but anyways it can be pretty potent um, which isn't always friendly on the liver right um, and I don't keep a whole lot of citrus fresh citrus around um, anymore because we have all of our wonderful oils <laughs> I was telling somebody just recently that I actually if I buy a lemon or a lime it's because I want to be able to eat the pulp I I miss the the pulp of the lemon and lime and, and it is different because remember our oils are coming from the rind the the oil of the the skin right so but anyways um is uh this mocktail is just a really nice refreshing alternative because the sweet uh or excuse me the just tart cherry has if you think about if you normally are a merlot or a um uh, what is the a Cabernet kind of person um, and then when you mix it with the citruses it just has that nice little burst and then a little bit of the ginger ale uh, Zevia you have no sugar bur burst right no insulin spike you've got um, nothing but great nutrition and you still get the nice relaxed calm without it being harsh on your liver so Anyways, next time you're feeling like you're wanting a sangria, but it's the middle of the week and you know that, you know, you probably need to make sure and, and who knows, you know, I don't know, each of us have our own of when we choose to partake in a, a drink, right? Remembering that it's for special occasions and, and stuff like that. I know that for me, I adhere to, to that, especially with trying to manage my health and inflammation and all that stuff. I try to be really conscientious of, of only partaking in a glass of wine you know, from time to time um, and making sure that it's um, strategically placed and whatnot. But um, this is just a really great way to get my magnesium, to get all the great healthy heart benefits from the tart cherry juice um, and using our oils and having a wonderful sangria with no worries. All right, you guys have a beautiful blessed rest of your evening and I will talk to you all later. God bless.